Hi there, it is design time. Welcome guys in Efficient Graphic Design channel. And what we want to do today is bevel and embossles effect. It is like a 3D effect. We turn it on, off, on, off, and you can see this, this effect is perfect. But before we begin, if you don't have the Adobe Photoshop installed in your machine, I place the link in the description below where you can download the last version of Photoshop for free. And if you have any problem installing the software, just leave me a comment and I will reply. To get started, let's turn off the effects on this circle object and we will apply it. Effect, bevel and embosses. Like you can see, the bevel and embosses window is open. We push it a little to see the results of our edits in real time. Like you can notice, there are so many settings to perform here. So we can edit the style, the technique, the depth of the effect. And, and like you can see, when we edit an attribute there, the result is showed in real time. We can edit the orientation from up to down. We can edit the size. We can edit also the smooth. So many attributes we can modify in this window. We can also change the angle of the effects. We can change the altitude. We can change the guest contour. We can change the mode of the highlight. There is two option there. The highlight mode and the shadow mode. Also, it has colors. We change the opacity of the highlight mode. Now we are changing the shadow mode. The opacity of the shadow mode. And also we can change the colors. It comes by default with two colors for the highlight, the white one, and for the shadow, the black one. Like you can see, there are so many attributes to set and it depends on your goals, the kind of objects you are applying the effects on and the results you want to get. So in our case, the perfect settings are, are the inner bevel for the depth. For the depth, we will choose 816, something like that, the orientation up, the size, something like 16, the smooth, something like 14. For the angle, we will choose 19 degree, which comes by default. For the altitude, we will choose 14. And for the highlight mood, we will come back to the white color. The mode, of course, normal. And we will change a little the opacity. Same thing with the shadow mode, normal, with the black color. And we will change a little the opacity. Greets. Like you can see, the result is perfect and the, the effect is applied in a great way. We can, of course, make the effect turn it on or off. So at any time we, we, we want. We can also come back and change any edits we want. 
And like you can see, the results we want to get it is so great. Alright guys, I wish you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to get the tutorials coming up. And if you have any issues, leave me a comment and I will reply. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorials. Thank you.